My name is Jabu Mabuza. I'm from South Africa. I'm here as a member of uh, WTTC and uh, as executive chairman of uh, Southern Sun Hotel Group and group chief executive of Tufo Sun Group, a hotel and a gaming company in South Africa. But also, I'm chairman of South African Tourism. That's uh, a lot of a lot of hats to wear. Um, tell me, what what are you looking to get from the from the event? This kind of a global summit, uh, this one in particular, the eighth uh, global summit of the WTTC, brings us as industry to face head on with certain challenges uh, that are more external pressures, ranging from uh, human resource and skills uh, to finance, uh, given uh, the pressures in the capital market, to issues uh, of environment and indeed uh, the whole question of other pressures facing the societies within which we operate. The communities where we operate are faced with issues of poverty, issues of drought, the whole question of climate change. These call on us as an industry to grapple with our business more in a responsible manner. Uh, we have the World Travel uh, uh, Organization forecasting that uh, by 2020, there would be 1.6 billion travelers having grown from 860 million in uh, 2006. Now this brings with it a lot of opportunities but also brings with it a lot of challenges as uh, there are opportunities on an economic, on a social and indeed to try and bring the people of the world together as we try and breach some of the geopolitical challenges that we face. But similarly, issues of carbon emission, issues of global warming, indeed issues uh, of landlessness, mm -hmm. issues of governments having to prioritize the value of tourism that can bring to economic prosperity on the one side, and indeed some of uh, the electoral pressures that governments have, be it education, health, and uh, the, the diseases uh, that they face uh, society. And we've seen uh, emerged countries like the United States going through uh, entering recession, we've seen challenges in Europe, we've seen the emergence of big uh, uh, demands coming out of uh, developing countries like China and India and indeed in Africa. But all those uh, call for leadership. We as uh, travel and tourism, our chance is to make it a point that uh, whilst uh, we grapple with this growth, how to ensure that this growth is shared in the value aid by the communities from whence the growth uh, derives. And how can we, how can we as, an, as an industry um, kind of move towards this sort of more sustainable model? What are the practical things that we can do together as a sector? Just in uh, the problem that faces industry and business generally is to step back and move away from this notion uh, that we call if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, we call it pragmatism. It's nonsense. There are many things that work that are not right. In my own country, apartheid has worked, but it's never been right. Now, we've got to start to say, what is it that is right that we must make work? And this is when we start to see travel and tourism in the value uh, chain, and in the value chain that the communities that we deal with also see benefit. You have industries, we have situations where in our own country we've had growth over the last five years, but uh, we've also had poverty. We've got unemployment, but we've also have uh, companies that are looking for skills. There's a big disconnect, there's a big mismatch, and I think uh, it's when we as business start to say, how can we responsibly, optimally create uh, uh, wealth for the communities where we operate? And we can't second guess the communities, we must ask them. I'd really like to ask you about South Africa itself. It's a fantastic destination. It's really, as you said, it's been growing um, at a phenomenal rate in, in terms of uh, as a tourism destination. Tell me about some of the things that you're doing um, in, in South Africa, sort of uh, at the moment, um, to, to kind of really, uh, kind of you know, build on that uh, on that growth. What can we expect from South Africa going forward? We've got the World Cup. It's all very exciting right now. Tell us about what's going on right there. Justin, uh, our government uh, made uh, the choice, and they've identified tourism as one of those economic drivers that uh, was prioritized. The consequence of that, uh, we were called upon as South African Tourism to come with what we call the growth, uh, the tourism growth strategy. 
from which we have uh, de derived a mandate whose task was to grow GDP, alleviate poverty, ensure that there is uh, the breaking of the seasonalities, ensure that there is a geographic distribution of these benefits. Uh, we have done that over the last five years. We have had 43 million visitors coming to South Africa, spending an average of $120 per day for nine days. And what we have used that for, that has come about as a consequence of deliberate strategic and marketing programs. Did not come because of praying and spraying. What we are now called is the, the next goal is in tourism. But what we now need to do is to continuously recognize that with these come issues like uh, black economic empowerment, challenges uh, on, the, on the wilderness. We like people to come for safari, but what does that do for the environment? What do we do about environment? And South Africa is a benchmark country on how we've managed environment. How do we deal with issues like uh, we want people to come and see the Cape Town, see the Table Mountain. We've got a threatened fain uh, 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 species that are being threatened. How we manage those? How we ensure that these are being done responsibly? 2010, a fantastic billboard, a fantastic advert for South Africa. People will come to South Africa for that event. What matters to us is how we ensure that when they come to South Africa for the 2010 World Cup, they will come back and be visitors forever in the day.